Scudo Angelo, the Shield Soldiers. This enemy is characterized by its defensive style of combat. It has average HP, usually appears in groups, and will probably be more annoying the more aggressive you try to be. Scudo Angelo primarily tries to guard you and fish for a parry of its own, then counter-attack while you are reeling from the clash. It can trigger a counter-attack action even when it's quite far away. In this case, it will run towards you while blocking, and try to stab you. Scudos only have close range attacks. If you don't attack them much, they will eventually close in on you and try to attack while maintaining a defensive stance. You can break its shield which will cause it to be more aggressive, but will also leave it more susceptible to damage. On Dante Must Die difficulty, Scudos enter Devil Trigger immediately when their shield breaks. If there's a Proto Angelo present in the battle, Scudos can coordinate team attacks with them as part of a battalion. For more information, refer to my Proto Angelo guide video. The main challenge with Scudo Angelo is dealing with its shield. You can strike once to make it guard, then jump over the shield while it is blocking and attack it from behind. The other option is to break the shield with moves that inflict guard break. You can also wait for a Scudo to attack you and then parry its strike. This will leave it unable to guard for a while so you can start a combo. Scudo Angelos also have a special shield break condition. When these enemies parry you at close range, they step in and do a shield bash. But if you strike at the exact same moment the shield bash hits, you can break their shield instantly. This is a bit tricky since the window is small and you have to recover from being parried first unless you make use of ranged attacks to trigger the shield bash. By doing this, you can break the shield consistently with any kind of physical attack. Next, I'll talk about some character specific strategies for dealing with a Scudo Angelo's shield. Nero can snatch these enemies if he's directly above them or behind them. Pull them up into the air and start an air combo on them. For guard break, enter Devil Trigger and use Maximum Bet. This is the fastest option to break their shields with Nero. For the special break condition, move close to them and trigger their shield bash attack with a blue rose shot. Then use attacks good for parrying like split or shuffle to try to hit the shield as it strikes. Dante has moves that the Scudos cannot block against. Cerberus' Crystal is recommended as it launches these enemies through their shields. You can also use Percussion to crumple, stun and crowd control them even when they're blocking. Thunderclap can send some homing lightning balls at them that they cannot block which lets you start a combo. The Cerberus' Hot Stuff Flame Wave will also pass right through their shields. For Guard Break, Use Dr. Faust's Red Shot held down or Cavalier's Full Throttle while in Devil Trigger. If you have Triple S rank, use Sin Devil Trigger's SDT combo, Sin Stinger, and the Luce. You can also use Double Kalina Ann's Mega Cascade, although it's a bit risky because this move leaves you open. If you want to trigger the special break condition, move close to them and trigger their shield bash attack with gunfire. Then use attacks good for parrying like DSD's Helm Breaker or Cerberus's Revolver. Balrog's Rolling Blaze action, which powers up basic jumps, works surprisingly well here too. For V, I don't think this is an enemy that will give you any problems. But if you want to break their shields, call down Nightmare. Every attack Nightmare does has guard break properties. For Virgil, these enemies will block you from trying to embed summon swords into them, so they can lock you out of your air trick and make your movement feel impaired at first. Get within range and use Rapid Slash to pass through them and end up behind their shields. For guard break, Use Mirage Edge's Overdrive 
to send a horizontal wave that will destroy any shield it touches. You can also use Void Slash to break shields. Since Virgil has easy access to guard break moves, you don't really need to make use of the special break condition for the Scudo Angelo, unless you want to style. Alright, that's it. I hope you learned something in this video. If you want more information on this enemy or more DMC5 guides, check the links in the video description. So, what are your preferred ways to engage a Scudo Angelo? Go ahead and hit me in the comments below. Also, I should have more enemy guide videos up soon. Be sure to look out for those if you're interested. This was BK Brent and Korua Game Dat Demo. I'll see you.